Hi everyone, it's Maggie, and I'm here with a project share, and also um, I'll be making one of the journal toppers. That's what um, the project share is about. It's for Corey Diamond's um, 2024 Bits of Lace Challenge, and I was going to try to do a video once a week, but I don't think I made last week's, so hopefully this will kind of make up for it. And the bits of lace part of this is going to be a little different. Um, it's a journal topper, but it can be used for other things. And um, I made one ahead of time, and then uh, I brought in enough product to uh, make another one on video. So let me move this a little bit and this here. So this is the journal topper and for my little bits of lace part it's basically going to be um, this here. So let me show you. I kept the things that I used and I'll show you um, exactly what I used. So it started off with this piece of uh, heavy fabric. And then on top of that, I put down this trim here, this lace trim, um, well, this way. And everything I used um, as far as laces and bits and that is all uh, Crafty Me Shop and there'll be a link in the description box. So that's um, what I did and then the next layer was a piece of felt that went over that and then um, in this one I also added a piece of muslin and then the image so that and that's how that one will go. Okay, and then I just started um, piecing together how I wanted this to look. And here is, I made this um, fabric cover, journal cover. And you see, once it's finished, um, I can put that on there and then it doesn't need anything else whatsoever. Okay, so let me um, keep going here. Okay, so I put the image on. And then I think, uh, I, did I keep this one out? Hold on. I might have used the last piece of this. Uh, there's two trims here, and this one you can barely see right here. Uh, I put that in between the layers. And then I put this one on top, okay? And then I added these pieces here. There's three different pieces, and this, that came from um, this piece here. I just cut these, fussy cut these out here. This one, this one, and I think that one. And I wanted them to kind of look like what I had in mind was um, because of the color, not really leaves, but um, I was thinking of flower stalks that, you know, that stand up, that go up. Um, that was my thought process. Uh, and then what I did was I had some of this trim and... It's these leaves and then this here. And I'm not really sure what they're supposed to be, but what I turned them into, um, I thought I had, yeah, okay. Here's, so here's where the bits come in. So I took one of these and I just cut these all individually. And I add, just added them here and there um, to look like, like like flower buds, I guess. And I added them here and up here and up there. And then I just added my tiny little pearls in the middle. 
So there's that layer. And then I had a collar, and this is all that's left of it. And when I saw the collar, I immediately knew this is how it the collar went. But there, it, there was a much longer piece, but I already used it. Um, but when I turned it over, I immediately saw a fence. So I cut a piece to go across. Now this, I... I left it open here because it makes it a little bit more three-dimensional if you can if you can see so the fence went on top of that and then this ribbon trim here I took a piece and I just fussy cut the ribbon part off of it and left the embroidered part and I put it down at the bottom of the fence to kind of make it look like there were there were flowers growing across the bottom of the fence so that's that's this one so there were several little you know there were several bits and um, I'm still not quite sure <laughs> poor Corey she, I probably drive her crazy um, the interpretation of bits of lace I get that but I also feel like you can take bigger pieces like this. And if you take just bits of them, I guess we'll use that word, um, and use those, then that's where the bits of lace come in. If that makes sense. I don't even know if making sense. It's, it's um, really late at night. It's the quietest time here that I can... I can, um, you know, make a video without worrying about dogs barking, um, the cat talking, or, you know, the kids going up and down the stairs or, or whatever. So I know the lighting isn't the greatest at night, but this is really the easiest um, time for me to uh, video. Okay, so that's, that's that. Let me take that out of here. All right. So, okay. So let's get to the one that I'm going to make in front of you. Now, I took out what I thought I would use and kind of um, placed things here and there to make sure, okay, that's going to work. That's going to work. So let me start. I took this trim out. to put on. I just want to make sure I have the right side. I think I do. Uh, let's see. It's hard to, oh, no, I think this is the right side. All right, so I want to put this, hopefully I'm in frame here. Okay, so I'm going to overlap it a little bit. I don't know where that's coming from unless it's my sweater. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start up there. That works almost perfectly. All right, and then I'm gonna cut across it just because it's getting a little cumbersome down here. So let me grab my scissors. So I hope everybody's doing well. Um, Sunday night, hoping to put this up. You know. Even though it's late tonight, I'll put it up tonight, hopefully, or tomorrow morning. Um, yeah. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get this done. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. All right, so let's move that there. All right, so I'm going to put some hot glue and I'm using on the other one I did use some um, art glitter glue here and there and some hot glue but in order to save time it is much quicker with the hot glue so I'm just going to use that for this project right so let's let me try to do this on the on the quicker side so 
So I've ever, I hope everybody had a good weekend. It's supposed to snow tonight. It snowed a little bit earlier. I think there's about an inch or so on the ground right now. And then um, it's supposed to rain, I think, from around midnight to uh, 3 a.m., maybe 4 a.m. We'll see. It doesn't always last as long as they think it's going to. But I don't think we're supposed to get a significant amount. I think it's just supposed to snow. So we'll see. So my thought process for these journal covers, and you can use them as uh, toppers. You can use them as more than uh, just topping a journal. You can use them on a page, inside of a journal. You could even um, use them on a, you know, if you made a handmade card. There's lots of things you can do with them. My mojo hasn't been that great lately, and I don't know why. So when it's like that, I tend to go back and do a couple of things that I really love doing. And the toppers are something that I do love to do. And that kind of gets my creativity going again. All right, so I'm just going to cut off the excess. And I know this is kind of a boring part, but it's necessary to show you, you know, what I'm doing. I almost did both of them on camera, but then I thought that's that video would just be way too long. So I'm glad I, I am glad I did the first one off camera. Okay. So then the next thing I'm going to do is put the piece of felt down. <coughs> Excuse me. I have the never-ending cough <laughs> ever since COVID back last September, I think. It just never goes away. All right, so I'm only going to uh, glue it down in the middle because I'm not sure if I'm going to put anything in between the layers yet. All right, so let me make sure. Okay, this is this is the right side for this, and I should have done this before I glued it down, but I didn't think about I didn't think of that. So, but that's okay. I mean, it'll still work out. especially where I didn't glue it all the way down. So yeah, Corey's challenge came at just the right time for me. And usually um, it's, I'm not so bad with losing mojo in the winter time because you know, when we when it gets so cold and it's snowy and everything, um, that's usually the time where I, you know, craft more. Especially if it's really slippery out. I don't dare go out anymore when it's slippery because that's just an accident waiting to happen. We have our driveway is... is slanted and it's very easy to it's like a little mini hill so it's very easy to slide you know I don't need to take a fall that's for sure now the reason why I'm mainly gluing in the middle is number one to keep it in place 
And is there a number two? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. Maybe also because if I change my mind, it won't be quite as bad taking something up. Okay, so here's the image. Love her. And I'm going to put that her down right there. So let me. And this is the, I should have said the images are printed on uh, cotton cotton printer sheet and you can take the backing off but I'm leaving the backing on because you can still feel it as fabric but it gives it a little more it's a little more stable I think okay so let's put that there And just so you know, when it, I'm, I'm doing videos and it's really cold, you're going to see this sweater a lot. <laughs> it's my warmest sweater that I have. And because it's so warm, I wear it all the time. Okay, so here, here we come to the bits. These are the bits I had uh, kind of cut in. I did take another piece of that, uh, what I call the fence. Uh, it's not going all the way across. I'm going to try to do it a little bit differently this time. But I'm going to put everything down before, before I totally decide. Because I forget. <laughs> I mean, I basically know what I want, but I forget where I put things. Okay, so... Here are those leaves from, from this uh, trim here. So those I consider bits. Okay, that goes that way. All right, now these pieces here, let me get these out. These pieces here, come on. Okay, these here are from this trim here. It's a dangle trim, and I just cut them off individually because when I was looking at it, I, um, I turned it upside down like this, and looking at it, it it just said like like the other one you know um flowers growing up you know up into up in the air up off the ground so this is what i have left of the piece i had i had cut in order to get the bits off all right so this i think i i think i want the the fence here I don't want it to go like straight across like the other one. And then these here, these little pieces here, I looked at and these to me look like they could be, you know, um, they could be, uh, I don't know what the word for it is, maybe, um, you know, some type of leaf or st uh, flower stalk that can go straight up also. And then these little bits could be like, um, like on the other one, uh, what did I call them? Like little, little buds, flower buds. So, and that came from this here this dangle trim here so I this is where I cut them this here and then oh, let me get another show you the other piece because here's the here's what I thought about the flower stalks it's at the very bottom 
So there's those bits there. All right. So now I just need to build my little my little garden. And actually, I'm going to pull that down a little bit because let me make sure I have the right. OK, this is the right side. Um, and I'm trying to decide, all right, how do I want to do this? So it's just a matter of building up. The uh, flower stalks, I guess we'll call them. So then we have this here. We can put that there. Is that the right side though? Yes. Okay, so let's let's put those there. And then this one here. Like I said, I don't I don't want to um, cover up too much of the image. Okay, and then we have some of these, so we'll put these kind of like in between, just like here and there. I'll, I'll keep them on the outside for now because they're going to get moved in order for me to put them down again anyway. But they'll go, they'll probably go more like behind like this, you know, like that. Okay, and then I'll put I'll put the fence there. I think I think I want the fence there, right? I didn't have it long enough to go across. I don't, and I don't think I can like take this and add to it. No, I don't want to do that. Let me see if maybe what I can do is put it like that. So then it just covers the bottom. I guess that would be okay. And then I was thinking, I'm not even sure if I'm going to use these, but my thought for these were kind of like on the, on the outside of the fence. Okay, kind of like that. Put it in a little closer. Kind of like that. And then these little little bud pieces could actually I think I was gonna put them on the leaves. Yeah. Like like here and there. Like that, kind of like that. So let me let me bring it up so now you can see. So yeah, I think that's how that's what I'm gonna do with this one. Okay. So let's. I'm gonna have to take these off. I love doing the layering like that. Works really well. Okay, let me just check this quick, see who it is. Okay, All right, and then the fence. All right. This is the only part I don't like about doing, you know, I but I really, I need to do it ahead of time so I get it in my head before I start gluing down. Okay, and then those three together and these two together. All right, because I, I need to do a little bit more gluing. Oh, hold on, my glue gun is, was stuck. Okay, so what I want to do is 
glue down the image because I'm not doing anything in between. And it'll be easy to glue it down before I um, put the bits down. The only thing about this sweater is it catches everything. Okay. Now oh, I'm doing the image on I Pay attention. So I hope some of you are, are joining in on Corey's challenge because it's really a, it's a really good challenge and <coughs> excuse me you know everybody's got their own style how they do things and making different things so it's nice to see you know all the different things that the other artists um <coughs> decide to do okay I already did that the other artists decide to do all right now I'm gonna just glue the bottom of this down because of all that stuff actually I should just go around the whole thing like I said I'm not gonna do any layering so there's no point in not doing this Idea what I'll do next for the challenge but I'll think of something okay so there we are back to that all right so all right this let's do this again I can do th th these three like this All right, so this, what I'm going to do is just so that to make sure that they don't move around, I'm just going to put a little dab of glue one place on each one for now, just so they stay where I want them to. Okay, and then on this side, okay, this is going to go here. Oh, I like how that curves around, so let me glue this down a little bit. I want to curve these a little more, so I'm going to glue those like that. This needs a little bit. Well, I might as well do the bottom too. Okay. And let me get the bottom on these two, and then I won't forget. And just one little dot on each piece is more than enough. There we go. Okay, and then let's see. Actually, no, I don't want to. Let's put that kind of like that. It can overlap a little bit with the other piece. 
That's the other thing I really like to do is all the layering. This to me is the fun part. Okay, now, if any, I wonder if anybody's noticed that I should have been, if I wanted these pieces to go behind, I should have done that before I glued it all. But let's see if we can kind of get a couple of them in there like that. Okay, that works. Okay, now I'm not going to glue at the top because I want it to stick out a little bit. So I'm going to glue it in the middle. And then the top can stick up a little bit like that. I also like um, making th making it kind of three-dimensional. Let's push those up a little bit. Okay. So see these I'm going to have to put in, fr in the front. Which is okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Once the fence goes on there, it kind of doesn't necessarily matter. So I want, I really wish I hadn't glued those down. <laughs> Let's see. Well, I, what I could do is cut some of this off. Just make it a lot shorter and then put it so that it kind of looks like it's behind it. is in front of it so all right so let's take the fence or what I call the fence okay we're gonna cover that all right I'm only gonna glue the bottom of it and that way there it should it should kind of stand up a little bit more three-dimensional, but we'll see. By only gluing the bottom. Yep, see, it's, it is standing up more. And that's by just gluing the bottom and, and having it overlap on these layers underneath. All right, so I think, let me move that up a little bit. I'm going to glue these little pieces on there before I I glue these onto the and I think I'm going to glue three the odd number the odd number rule okay so that, that will basically go there. to kind of let's put that there and I guess this wants to go this way so let's let's do that and then this one will go on the other end I'm going to need um, 
three more of these. Okay. So one. This is sticking to my to my fingernail. <laughs> so I have to put that one on this way. Okay, and that one's gonna go on this one. Okay, so this one will go here like that okay so again I'm only going to put glue down the bottom because I want them to kind of stand up all right so this has to go in first because it's going behind the other one and that wanted to go this way And this we're going to put a little going the other way a little bit not basically uh well yeah maybe we will put this one because the other one isn't straight up and down either so we can do that okay i think hold on i just need a sip of water I don't know why, but my throat gets so dry when I'm crafting and talking. <clears throat> so this is what it looks like for now. I think it's done. I really don't see the need to put anything else on here. The only other thing that if I had um, thought of it, I might have found a trim that maybe I just want to put on the top um, but for now but I don't want to take that time because it's already almost 40 minutes in but uh, if I find uh, another one in the next video I'll I'll show you the change so okay so that's that's that one and I love how that came out I really love taking things and turning them into something else, like this trim here. I've used it just the way it is, you know, like as a dangle on a fabric book, say, you know, like that, or a doily book. But then looking at it and realizing you could make this look like uh, flowers from a garden. And and also taking this piece is off the other dangle. I mean, that piece, this piece here has nothing to do with a flower, but you, but I abstractly maybe, but still, I think I kind of um, turned it into something like that, and yeah. So that's that's what I like to do. That's one of my favorite things to do is to is to take something and turn it into something else. I can't always do that, but when I do like something like this, this just makes me happy. <laughs> so all right, so there's that. And again, um here's the other one, but again, this is big enough that I wanted this would be the whole journal cover topper and it would be all done unless I wanted to put you know a trim around the top or some dangles on the bottom whatever but yeah but I won't do that until 
I know exactly what I'm going to use it for and if it's going to go as a journal topper, what the journal is going to be about. But I mean, with these two, whatever I decide, uh, it, the journal, obviously, it'll have to be shabby chic. So, okay, that's it, everyone. Um, I hope um, I inspired you a little bit, maybe, to try to think outside the box with some of your uh, laces and um, up. I didn't use any appliques in this, um, but you could do the same thing with appliques. And, um, oh, I said that. I don't, I'm not even going to count how many times when I watched back on this video, how many times I said that. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I enjoyed making these. This, they really are one of my favorite things to do. And I hope I kept to the spirit of the challenge of the bits of lace. I know I kind of stretched the, um, whatever you want to call it, a little bit. But I think the end result is there's bits in here. <laughs> so thanks again, Corey, for the challenge. And I'm going to keep at it. And I hope you check out all the other um, talented artists that are participating in the challenge. Uh, if you just do the hashtag um, bits of lace 2024, you you know, um, in the the box at the top on YouTube, all of the all of the um, videos will show you, you know, will come up on the timeline. And you can see everybody else's um, projects also. So I'm going to say good night. Uh, have a great night. And I will be back again soon, hopefully with another project share. So I'm just going to say bye for now. <laughs>